What's going on guys, friends and neighbors? Anthony back with Metal Miners. Let's see if I can get this chair right. Man, I got me a new chair. Hung me some curtains back there in the background trying to, to get my, my scene the way I want it. My wife wouldn't let me paint the walls and uh, she runs the show, man. A uh, little, I guess, collection update tonight. I've got uh, one LP and uh, a handful of cassettes. I've got two cassettes a guy sent me to uh, uh, check out that I want to share with you guys. Uh, first off, in the background, uh, we're listening to Autopsy, Severed Survival, of course, you know, Autopsy from California. Um, this was their debut album from 1989, uh, come out on, uh, this is a Peaceville reissue, I don't know what year it was reissued, it's probably been reissued several times, I am sure. Uh, this is, in my opinion, a classic, uh, just killer stuff. You're into death metal, uh, this needs no introduction. If uh, you're just getting into death metal, this is probably one that you want to have in your collection. Uh, speaking of one you want to have in your collection, check this out. Uh, Cemetery Filth. Cemetery Filth is um, calls home Atlanta, Georgia, uh, but the band uh, has members actually from Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, uh, Chris McDonald from Exaugurate plays drums. Uh, you see the young lads there on the back. This is a full length, came out in 2020. This album will actually be two years old on the 13th of this month. Uh, the Gatefold. Uh, the name of the release is Dominion. Uh, check out that art there. Juanjo Castiano Rosado uh, did the art. Uh, 2020 release on Unspeakable Acts Records. Uh, like I said, it's a four piece. You get nine tracks, uh, 37 and a half, a little bit more uh, minutes of music. These guys have been at it since 2014. They had an EP in 2014 and then a string of uh, splits, one in 16, one in 17, one in 18. And then this, uh, this is a spectacular death metal album hear very few people talk about it and uh, it doesn't show up that much but it's absolutely fabulous check it out if you hadn't picked mine up from meteor gym maybe they got some other copies left i don't know i've had it several weeks but uh just getting around to uh putting it on here uh, there's the inner another picture of the guys and it came on this snazzy kind of an orangish, greeny looking uh, vinyl. It's a little bit darker than it's showing up on the camera for some reason, but uh, great stuff. Uh, cemetery feel. I likes it. I likes it. Let's look at some tapes. I got one here that's hot off the presses. Came in from uh, Frozen Screams imprint. Uh, let me go ahead and take it out of this case because I know it's going to glare. This is Acid Birth. Check this out. Check that out. Uh, this this art is by Mark Bortalin Vulture. Um, uh, this is, I don't know if you would call it, uh, I, I would call it a comp. This is actually both of their EPs to date. Uh, you get the separate artwork on either side of the J card. You can reverse it, put it in your tape case however you want. Or like I'm going to do, I'm going to order me another copy so I've got one of each. You get five tracks on each one. Uh, one side is Pleasures of the Flesh. Uh, that one actually came out and was recorded in 2020. And then you get Divine Grotesque on the other side recorded in February of 2021. They were both released in 2021, I think, separately or maybe digitally, and then digitally, I think, was the deal. And then they were uh, compiled and put on this by Frozen Screens imprint. Cool stuff. Uh, Acid Birth is a two-piece from New Orleans, Louisiana. One guy goes by Morgue, plays guitar and does vocals. The other guy goes by Tune. 
uh, plays the drums and does vocals. Um, good, solid death doom, like I say, from New Orleans. 10 tracks, 40 minutes, 19 seconds of music. Go get you one from Frozen Screams. This is some of the, uh, this, this is good. You need to check this out if you haven't. And my man Liam says you need that in your life. Here's something else you may want in your life. Paranoia Apparition. And the name of this release is Phantasmic Visions. Check that out. Came out on Gurgling Gore this year, 2020, uh, 2022. Uh, this artwork is by, check out how this thing folds out. Try to get it there. Uh, that artwork, can you see that? Is by S. Black Wolf artwork. Uh, this is death metal slash grindcore. Folds uh, out like that. Um, this is an EP. Can you see that? Check that out. That's a pretty cool one. Three piece. You get six tracks on here. 16 minutes, 26 seconds of music. Um, yeah, I picked this up when I seen who uh, the uh, musicians were on it. Uh, it folds back up. Like this here. Uh, this is the the debut release from this project, if you want to call it. Very different. Uh, Brennan Westermeyer from Fluids and Thorns does the guitars and the bass on here. Maul Alvarado. From Mall does the uh, it's, I said Mall Alvarado Garrett Alvarado from Mall uh, does the vocals on here. Uh, when I seen that, I went ahead and grabbed it. Uh, on top of that, it's mixed and mastered by Mike Colby from Warth Lurch. Uh, very different from Fluids. Very different from Mall. Uh, the vocals go from a deep growl that you would expect from Garrett up to a uh, screeching, scathing, harsh scream. You know, blackened kind of. It's got synthy parts. Uh, it's got some experimental, exploring new sounds kind of stuff. Uh, it's uh, it's a good listen, but it's it's very different than what you if you think you're going to get mall stuff or you think you're going to get thorns or fluid stuff. Uh, it's very different, but very well uh, put together and worth your time checking out. Like I say, gurgling gore is the place to be if you want one of those. Now, check this out, Penny Coffin. Um, I didn't even try to write the name down because there it is right there. 2022 release on Dry Cough. Dry Cough is putting out some awesome stuff, my friend. Uh, Rio Oka uh, did that cover art there. Um, on Metal Archives, it says these guys out of Scotland, but I think uh, I may be wrong, but somewhere I read uh, one of the members are from Greece. Maybe he lives in Scotland now, uh, whatever the deal is. This is a four piece. You get six tracks on here, 36 minutes and 13 seconds of music. This is a comp of their 2021 EP. Uh, you may have seen some guys showing last year and then their 2022 EP. Crushing. Um, death metal, a unique vocal approach. Just, I'm not even going to try to explain it. You know, everybody uses all these words to describe music. The best way to get a grip on what this music sounds like is to listen to it. That's what you need to do. You need to listen to it and come to your own conclusion. I mean, if you've been watching this channel any at all, you pretty well got an idea of what I like, and, and I like this crushing very unique vocal approach especially on the the newer uh ep great stuff from dry cough i picked this one up at stump grinder uh stumpy may have some copies left but this one's going fast everywhere folks so if you want one get you one pretty quick penny coffin now speaking of stumpy um stump grinder records wood rot volume one um Check that out. This is a comp of basically everybody that Stumpy worked with uh, this past year, 2021. Uh, if you can read some of those bands on there, 
just what a roster. I mean, what what a, what a year for Stump Grinder Records. Uh, check that out. There's the list of bands: Intestinal Hex, Cryptic Rise, and Trenchfoot. Just go on down that line there. Extensia, uh, Gore God, Existentia rather, uh, Resilient. My buddy from uh, Abel from Greece, Seeping Death. Sky Squatch listens to death metal. You don't get no better than that. Uh, Stumpy, just a tremendous guy. If you're not familiar with Stump Grinder Records, this is a good way to uh, get into everything he did last year. All these bands, go seek them, pick them up. It's good stuff. Stumpy's the man. He's the Pacific Northwest King. Pacific Northwest King. My well, man Joe Rod is the wizard of the Northwest, but Stumpy's the king of the domain. And so, so uh, next, uh, a guy approached me on Instagram, Mr. Artie Flores, and asked, could he send me a cassette to uh, check out? And I said, sure. I would love you to send me a cassette to check out. And he sent me uh, this. Um, let me see if you can see that. Harkonnen. I think is the way you say it, Harkonnen. Uh, Havoc Ritual is the name of this release. This came out uh, this year, 2022, on Necrotic Records, did the CD. Artie himself, under his label, Bloody Tapes, did this cassette version. Uh, came on this black shell, check that out. Uh, cool stuff. Uh, Mark Cooper did the cover art here. Uh, Metal Archives has these guys at Black as Black Thrash. It's a four piece from St. Louis, uh, Missouri. I got that upside down. St. Louis, Missouri. You get seven tracks on here, just a little bit over 34 minutes of music. Um, they had a demo in 2002. They were actually active since 2002 to 11. Then they took a hiatus uh, all the way up to 2019, and this is their first release uh, since that long break. Uh, actually, their fifth full length, to be exact. Uh, the last one was in 2010, so a pretty good hiatus there for whatever reason. Like I said, it says Black Thrash on uh, Metal Archives. Uh, this is an interesting listen. I, I've listened to this thing four or five times over the past few days at work. It has some of everything. Uh, the vocals are superb. They go from being a death metal vocal on up to a black metal vocal and everything in between. Um, musically, it has something for everybody. It's very thr uh, thrashy. It's got death metal moments in it. It's got a lot of black metal tinges to it, a lot of black metal riffing in there. Um, good stuff. I mean, if you're a fan of thrash, black metal or death metal there's something for everybody on this even slows down and has some doomy parts at times but this is good stuff um i i think necrotic necrotic did the cd like i said bloody tapes did the cassette the cassette's going to be hard to get you're going to have to go on um youtube under bloody tapes and his youtube channel he's got a link on there maybe you can get one from him uh, Necrotics probably got the tapes and the CD. Um, Artie himself is from San Antonio, Texas. He sent me through it. You can go on uh, Bandcamp and listen to it, and you can go on Spotify, and they've got a single on there off of this. Is all that uh, from this band is on uh, uh, Spotify. But cool stuff. Uh, like I say, get up, get up with Artie on Instagram. His Instagram. Uh, handle is tapes of fate all one word and then his youtube channel is bloody tapes check him out he also sent me another one that i haven't listened to enough to really comment on it but i wanted to show it to you i'll check it out some more this one's death metal but i want to show you this packaging while i've got you here this is withered icon uh, check that out comes in this slip case from eternal darkness creations check that out slides out like that and then you get the cassette itself cool packaging man absolutely 
cool stuff. This is uh, this one's a hard one to seek out. Um, not a whole lot of information. Like I say, this one's opening the hell mouth. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think this is a 2020 uh, Eternal Darkness Creations release. I, well, I know it is, but there's hardly anything on uh, Metal Archives about these guys other they're from Alton slash Jerseyville, Illinois. It's death metal. Uh, as far as I can tell, these guys are a four piece. This release itself is not on uh, Metal Archives anywhere. Like I said, it was a gift from Artie, and it's, I've, I've listened to it one time through, and it's like demo quality death metal, but it is good stuff in my opinion. I'm going to listen to it some more and uh, probably put it on my Instagram page or something. Look how all that folds out. Got those teeth up there that fold out. Um, down at the bottom folds out. It just folds every way you can fold. Eternal Creations. Eternal Darkness Creation logo. Uh, just cool stuff. Artie, man, I appreciate you sending me this stuff. I'm going to put it on my Instagram page and do a proper write-up on uh, this one on the Harkonnen and well I had it upside down again and on this withered icon once I get this digested in my noggin uh, check out this cassette here cool stuff man withered icon opening the hell mouth and the other one is Harkonnen Havoc Ritual uh, this is the one that he really wanted me to check out, but he sent me the other one and a whole bunch of stickers and all kind of other stuff. Man, Artie, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much, sir. You don't know how much I appreciate it. Uh, I know you were probably talking to Cody uh, when he asked to send a cassette, but I slid in there and sent you my address, brother, because I'm greedy like that. I'm the daddy. If I want him to have something, I'll send it to him. Man, I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Again, Savage Survival playing in the background. Got my curtains hit up in here. Man, I tell you what, you gotta keep your wife happy if you wanna stay married. Don't go painting no walls without asking. Thank y'all for watching, I appreciate it.